I'm Nigel C. Fontus, Progtronica producer, and I'm going to show you my technique for using Ableton Live's beat repeat effect and how I map that out over the Novation launch pad uh, to take regular drum breaks and turn them into crazy sounding square pusher esque drum solo type sounds uh, all in real time. Uh, it's relatively simple to do, so here we go. Okay, first I've mapped out uh, a drum loop um, in 160 BPM that uh, I create. I'm a drummer myself, so I, I create all my own drum loops using uh, Roland V drums and then record them into Ableton Live and edit them there uh, so that they're my own sounds. But you can use this technique I'm about to display with pretty much any stock drum. Okay, so I've already got the compressor um, on track one to get the drum sounding just the way I like it. So the first thing we're going to do is to go into the effects browser uh, pick out the beat repeat effect, drag that just before the compressor on track one which has the drums. So we'll drop that in there. Uh, then for added effect I'm going to take the auto filter and drag that behind the beat repeat effect. So now we've got just on this track we've got a compressor to just make the drums sound the way crunchy the way it should for drum and bass music and we've got the beat repeat set up in there and the auto filter. Now the first thing you're going to need to do in beat repeat is to go to the bottom left dial, which is the chance. It's automatically set to 100%. What we want to do is bring it down to 0% so that it's only going to trigger the beat repeat effect when we tell it to do it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you can get great effects by uh, having that up where it'll automatically trigger the beat repeat effect. But for this, for our purposes here, we're going to take that chance down to 0 so that it only um, happens when we actually trigger it. Okay, the next step is we're going to go to the launch pad, switch into user 2 mode, okay? And what we need to do is go back into Ableton Live and click on the MIDI tab, the MIDI mapping tab up at the top right corner. Okay, this is where you can choose to map out uh, whatever you want through MIDI uh, in Ableton Live. So now we've got this clicked, we're going to go down to the beat repeat effect and click on repeat which is right under interval um, so that's clicked now I'm gonna go back to the launch pad and just push the top left button to enable that as um, the button that turns on the repeat effect okay uh, then the next key thing to do is we're gonna go over to the grid which is the um, how fast the beat repeat is um, is being produced. Click on that. Then we're going to go back to the launch pad. Hold down the on the second row the uh, leftmost button, and then press the rightmost button. Essentially, turning that into a dial. So as you go up and down these, it's essentially the same effect as turning a dial or a knob. The next thing we want to do in order to get the setup just right is on these three tabs that say mix, instrument, and gate on the beat repeat effect. We want to switch it to instrument. Uh, that means that once we've got the beat repeat happening, it turns off the original sound and you'll only hear the beat repeat. Uh, and then we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to switch back to the session view um, and we're going to launch the effect, launch the loop. There it goes back into user mode 2 and then when we want to repeat it now we've got the repeat happening and then as soon as you click it again you're back into the main beat right in time now when you really want to get funky with this let's do it again now as I scroll down on the second one that's the, that's the um, grid function that's how I can change the timing of this. Now to bring things to the next level, um, we're going to go in the auto filter and do the same thing. We're going to click on the MIDI mapping button up here and then go down to the tab that's on the bottom right corner just under the grid on auto filter click on that so that's what we're mapping and then 
over on the launch pad, we are going to do the same effect of pressing down on the leftmost button and then holding the rightmost button in the same um, the same row, essentially turning it into a dial. So then go back up to the live screen, turn off the MIDI, and then now check out the auto filter. Notice how it's changing as I go up and down the dial. So now we've got a filter happening and the beat repeat. And with those two things, you can make amazing drum sounds, as I will show you right Session now. View. And we're going to launch that same beat back into user 2. And then let's set up a repeat. And now we use the filter. Now this technique can be used not only for manipulating drums, but of course you can use the same beat repeat effect and the mapping technique on other kinds of tracks. And now I've got, as you see loaded in here, I've got my second track as a bass track and my third track is a, a synth loop. And I've got the same thing mapped out um, on the launch pad for both of those tracks, with not with the filter, just the beat repeat on both the bass and on the synth. So let's go back and launch one of these bass lines. User 2, and see what we do when we start beat repeating the bass. Now the same thing with the synth one. Let's repeat that. So that's pretty much the effect. Now I'll show you a little uh, performance with using just what we had there. Uh, I've got that same drum loop cut up in a couple different ways and the bass and synth uh, modulated in different ways so that you can uh, change keys and do different things, but it's basically just the same sounds um, cut up into different ways using this effect that I've just displayed.